Greetings and welcome to Justice 121, week six. Next week is midterms. Next week we're halfway through. Uh, nothing to fear from the midterm in this class at least. Uh, simple quiz, uh, like your weekly quizzes, just longer. Uh, more true, false, multiple choice. Uh, open book. I don't expect any problems. I expect you to all excel wonderfully. <clears throat> this week, week six, we're talking about uh, crime and disorder and quality of life issues. Quality of life is, a, uh, is new to police work. Uh, new York pushed it heavier than anybody a while back. Um, new York was down in the bottom of the barrel. People were scared to visit. People were scared to go downtown. People were scared to um, go to Times Square. And the PD decided to do something different. Instead of concentrating only on major crimes, they were going to concentrate on the most minor of minor crimes. Um, the disorderly conducts, the minor trespassings, the loitering. And they amazingly cleaned up the town. New York became one of the absolutely safest places to live and visit in the country. It's kind of came under scrutiny lately. You've noticed the, uh, the new mayoral election in New York. Uh, one of the things the new mayor campaigned on was to rein the police in a little bit. They were starting to be seen a little too aggressive. So there's a fine line you have to balance. Um, it was a really, really good, strong experiment of theirs. Um, pretty universally agreed on that it got a little out of control, a little, uh, little too strong there than it had to be. Uh, they'll rein it in, and they'll find that fine line again. It was a neat experiment, and it worked really well. This is a fun week. I, I love these discussion boards. We're going to be doing another one of these uh, discussions where we watch a clip. I've got a couple of clips for you to watch um, out of the Alaska State Troopers show. Um, I want you to watch the clip. I want you to see how the officers handle a situation. Um, I want you to read some case law that I've given you, some decisions, the way uh, the courts say things have to be held. And I want you to apply the court decision, the court says we can do this, to what you see on TV. Now, interestingly, I think we can all agree, uh, there's nothing on this TV program that hasn't passed close scrutiny uh, under the Department of Law to make sure everything's okay. Uh, the Department of Public Safety, the state of Alaska, the Alaska State Troopers will never ever put anything on TV uh, that they don't think isn't 100% legit. I mean, it would be foolish to do so. You do not show troopers out violating people's rights and then put it on national television. So you know that every one of these clips and every one of these episodes has passed scrutiny to being totally on the up and up, best practice police work. You should also realize, though, there's a reason I picked these clips. Uh, there's dozens and dozens of clips out there, and for some mysterious reason, I picked these clips to show you. So go in understanding and knowing both those two things, that, that uh, the state of Alaska says, God, this is good police work. Um, I say, uh, there's a reason I want you to watch this particular one. So be a fun discussion. Um, base your opinions, base your theories, don't. Go along with the clock crowd. Don't be a bunch of sheep. Um, unless everybody agrees, this is all perfectly good, wonderful police work. Um, and that's what the courts say. Or, my God, what in the world are they doing? Uh, again, back it up with uh, the case decisions. I really enjoy these. I think these are good. So, excellent chapter on uh, crime and disorder. Um, uh, hopefully a really fun discussion board. Uh, using the case law and the TV shows. Uh, and then next week, like I say, the midterm. So this is a really good time to catch up if you're behind on anything. If, if you're missing a paper, if you're missing something from 
previous weeks. I'd really like it if you could catch up before the midterm so we don't have stuff from the first part of the class drifting into the second part of the class. So anybody need anything, give me a shout, and we'll see you in class.